Hello, happy first day of homeschooling. Um, I'm going to set you all a challenge for this lockdown. Um, see if you can read a story with your grown up or your grown up can read a story. I would absolutely love to flood our Facebook page with everybody reading lots and lots of different books because you've probably got different books than I've got here. I might have some other books. Staff around the school will have lots of different books and it would just be really, really good if we could have maybe a story a day um, to flood our Facebook page with lots and lots of books. So I'm going to kickstart it off with Incredible You. The Year Twos will have read this one already, um, but it's just, it's a really, really lovely book. Lots and lots of colours as well. Now and again, and I do this too, you might want to be someone other than you. Perhaps at the end of a very bad day, you might wish you were a bird and could just fly away. Or maybe you think being a dog looks like fun. You could chase squirrels up trees or dig holes in the sun. And if you ever felt angry, you could just shout in the park because if you were a dog, it would just sound like a bark. Perhaps you'd rather be a cat after all, if sometimes you like to curl up like a ball. You'd get behind the ear scratches and rubs on your belly while you lay on the sofa and watch cartoons on the telly. We all like to do that sometimes, don't we? Now, the remarkable thing about being a fish is that you get to get, eat all the seaweed you wish. I'm not sure I want to eat that much seaweed. And while you might never have given seaweed a try, to a fish it's delicious like blueberry pie. <laughs> Or what about animals that live in the zoo? There must be an animal there that suits you. Tigers are fierce, giraffes are so tall, and elephants are the biggest of all. A panda, perhaps, a mountain gorilla, a short-tailed or long-tailed fluffy chinchilla, a hippo, a lizard, a lion. Ah, I know, you must want to have the strength of a rhino. Now I know what you're thinking, that sounds pretty good, and you'll still like to be someone else if you could. But you're truly amazing! Think of all the things you can do. Perhaps you'll realise if I name just a few. So try and have a think, especially over the next few weeks, about all of the things that you're really, really good at. And you could do those at home and send them in to us as well. So it doesn't just have to be all of our home learning, so send them all in. You can do funny, funny voices that make people giggle. I wonder if you can make someone laugh. You can write a kind note, then sign your name with a squiggle. You can make up a story or read from a book. You can smell, you can taste, you can listen and look. You can draw with your hands and score goals with your feet. You can dance to the rhythm or invent a new beat. Oh, we'd love to see lots of dancing as well in this lockdown, keeping us all a bit sane. <laughs> you can put things together and follow instructions or make up your, are using all the right tools and follow the instructions or make up your own rules. I wonder if you've got something, maybe you've got it for Christmas that you might need to build or make with lots of instructions, you could follow those, couldn't you? You can sing if anyone says you can't, they are wrong. You are just singing your own special, you just keep singing your own special song. And I bet you can touch your nose with your toe. And if not, don't worry, at least now you know. Goodness me, I'm not sure I could do that, can you? You can sleep, just let yourself drift away and dream of the things you hope you'll be one day. And when you wake up, you can count, you can make them come true. I'm not joking, you can. And yes, I mean you. You're fab and fantastic. You're one of a kind. You're unique and amazing. Always bear that in mind. So there's only one thing that I'd like you to do, and that's never stop wanting to be incredible you. 
Now us teachers here know that every single one of you is incredible and all of your grown-ups who are having to now homeschool you, they're also incredible. So keep up all of your hard work. We really, really are, are so excited to see you all on Zoom uh, and seeing all of the learning that you're getting up to at home. So like I said, please, please, please post a, post a video, sorry, of you reading a story at home or your grown-up reading a story at home so that then everybody can watch a story a day on our Facebook page um, and we can then have loads and loads of things to talk about when you come back to school. Okay, so look after yourselves, look after your grown-ups uh, and take care and we'll see you soon.